grew up in Norwich. My roots are here, my, my parents were here, my grandparents were here. I'm a potter and so when I first started the studio it was pottery that that was my first interest. I'd love so, to try it. Yeah, we'd love Could to I do get that? It on the wheel. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we love getting people dirty. Oh, <laughs> so we're going to slam it on the table a few times just to kind of get it from being an odd rectangular shape into more of a, a blob shape, if you will. Fabulous. Now, I just wanted to ask you while we're here, what is the art scene like in Norwich? I mean, are you finding that it's really the place yeah. to be right now? I mean, there's so many things that are going on, um, and there's there's a lot of artists like myself who are not necessarily on the beaten path, mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, there's just a number of things that you have the opportunity to experience here that you wouldn't elsewhere. For instance, we have a wonderful black box theater in Norwich called the Spirit of Broadway, and it's just some of the best theater I've ever seen. You know, the Norwich Arts Center is a wonderful place where they have galleries and they show local artists' work, and they're really starting starting to serve, I've felt in the past few years, as that kind of connective tissue between all of the things that are art-related going on in southeastern Connecticut. Nice, that's great. I like it. It's looking really good. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay, you mentioned the spirit of Broadway, and it just so happens that we're going to the spirit of Broadway because Norwich has a wonderful history of theater, and the spirit of Broadway is right in the center of it. So now I have to figure out how to get this pot off this wheel. What do I do next? 